Hey everyone, this is Ninja, and I'm going to use this tutorial to walk you through the new features added in Emergency Lights Manager version 2. For those of you who have played the game for a while, you know that the original Emergency Lights Manager mod allows you to change the color of lights on police vehicles, ambulances, and fire trucks. In this new edition, you can now change the color of lights on the rotary strobes. I will begin the tutorial by walking us through the available presets before diving into the custom options. To access the mod, you first press the escape button and then you press options. We find emergency lights manager in the left hand corner and you see the drop down menu. Currently, we are at the default preset. For those of you using the mod, most likely you want to change it from the default preset. To do so, you click on the drop down menu and you see the options custom, no lights, American, European, Japanese, and the one I recently added, ideal settings for ninjas vehicles. I will walk through all the other presets before talking to you about what to do with a custom setting. The first one, no lights, all off, is very straightforward. In this case, you see that even the vehicles that had a strobe during the default setting will no longer have a strobe. For example, the garbage trucks no longer has a rotating yellow light. And a responding police vehicle, let's see if I can find one, such as the Detroit Charger or Tahoe here. If you look at this, you see that there is no flares. The only light that you actually see are the ones that are defined by the color map and this applies to all the vehicles. Next, I will go into the American preset. This preset was inherited from the original mod. Therefore, it has the left light as red and the right light as blue on all the vehicles, including the ambulance and the police car here, as well as a fire truck, which is responding over here. And for those of you who have not yet realized, I am running a special promotion on YouTube where if 1,000 followers follow me on YouTube, I will release a tiller to the workshop. And if I get 1,000 followers by tomorrow, I will release a tiller tomorrow. The only change I have made to the American preset is that on the rotary strobes, so let me find another vehicle. Alright, so here we see the rotary strobe on the maintenance vehicles is still yellow. However, on the responding vehicles that have a red light, let's see if one of them exists, the light on the index for the rotating strobe will be red. I will now go into the European preset. The European preset is a preset where every light, including the index on the rotary strobe, is blue. The rotary strobe here, which was red a few seconds ago, is now blue. And as we remember from the earlier examples, let me see if I can find the original position. All right. The ambulances and the police vehicles all have blue lights here. And the same goes for the fire trucks. The lighting, which is previously all red on the tiller, is now completely blue. The next preset, the Japanese preset, is the red red preset. All lights, except for the lights on the maintenance vehicle, are now red. As you can see, the lights are now all red on the tiller. The rotary light is also red. And on the ambulances, the lights are also red. Now, I will begin telling you about the ideal setting for Ninja's vehicles. These are the settings that I use in the majority of my screenshots. For example, 
you will see that the ambulance lighting is now red and white, where the rear lights are white, but the front lights are red. If you go to my fire truck, all the lights are red. And for the police vehicles, including the Detroit Tahoe that I have been showing off recently and is now uploaded to the workshop, has a red-blue lighting scheme. Since the most of the vehicles that I make are American, the rotary strobe for responding vehicles, such as the Michigan State Police Charger, well, I guess there's no one responding right now, but it would be also red as well. And on the maintenance vehicles, the strobe will continue to remain yellow. Now I will move into the custom settings. Let me see if I can find another responding vehicle with a rotary strobe. Well, I guess not, but we can still use the examples that I have yes uploaded yesterday. When you change the settings to custom, you can define all the lights independently, including the rotary light. The left light is the light that I put on my police vehicles, as well as the other service vehicles. Geometry made a wonderful sea grave covered pumper. And if I can't find one that has a rotating strobe, such as this one, which I added, you can see that I also put the left strobe on that vehicle. If you change the strobe to white, you can see now the lighting is white. And the same goes for the other colors of blue, green, and purple. The right strobe is a strobe that I reserve for my maintenance vehicles and the SimTrans vehicles. If you have not noticed, a lot of the SimTrans vehicles have been recently updated. Maybe none of them have been spawned yet. I'll go and use the garbage truck as an example. As we have recently seen, the garbage trucks, including the Peterbilt, now comes the rotating yellow strobe on the back. If you change the right indicator, to red, you see that strobe is now red. Only my vehicles have the guarantee that the left strobe is only reserved for emergency vehicles and the right strobe is reserved for security and service vehicles. This includes the vehicles that I've uploaded before, such as the security vehicles. Now I will go into the police lighting. I will find the Detroit Tahoe that was previously responding and show you that if you click the police car tab and you click the and you change the right light, you change the flare that's located on the right side. The flare that's located on the left side, you can also change as well. And remember, these are global settings. You cannot define lights per vehicle. Now I will go into the fire truck lighting. I will find the tiller and here you can see that all the lights are currently red. You can configure the rear light separately or you can choose to unselect that option and just configure it as all the rear lights have the same setting as the front lights. So in this case all the rear lights are red on the left and the lights are blue on the right. My fire vehicles have a very complicated lighting pattern. As you can see when I change the settings for the left rear to green and the right rear to orange, you see that I actually position the probes in a variety of positions. This way I can have a more dynamic light bar. The same goes for the ambulances. If you do not want to configure the rear light separately, you do not click the configure rear light separately option. To demonstrate, I will find an ambulance that is currently transporting a patient to the clinic. 
If you set the light on the left to be blue, you see that the left strobe are now blue and the right strobes are now red. Remember that I am the only one that I know of who puts all the strobes on the front light bar for the ambulance. Other acid creators' vehicles may behave differently. Now I have changed the colors to the blue for the left front, red for the right front, white for the left rear, and right for the and the right rear is now purple. If you look here, you can see that all four strobes are on the front light bar, which allows for a more dynamic response. There you have it. I have gone through all the features of the Emergency Lights Manager version 2. I will be making a short tutorial series over the next few weeks on how to retext your assets using my new flyer XD40 as example. For those of you who are interested, you should definitely click the subscribe button. Also, if I get 1000 subscribers, I will be releasing the Pierce Tiller that was demonstrated in this video. I hope that everyone has a great time and happy skylining.